G'day guys and welcome back to Stitch Up and the third episode of Thames Valley Studios in Planet Coaster. So at the start of this episode what we're going to be doing is just look at the fencing around uh, around the park. So let's just recap. In the first episode we built the uh, the entry plaza with the, uh, the entry gates where you take your tickets and validate them and send them through and you've got these little sort of kind of uh, skylight theme going on around there as well. Some natural light coming in and then and you can see that just in the back um, at the back of that building you can see to the top right of the screen you can kind of see all that there um, and then we've got an, a, a plaza area which is uh, yet to be determined what's going to be in here and then in episode two we built a hotel for that what was the back corner and I say what was, I'll get into that just a little bit more um, in a little bit. But we have a brutalist style, a brutalist style of architecture um, at a hotel. Uh, so that is there. And uh, we started to, in between these episodes, I've actually put in lots of plants. So we've got a very tropical theme. And um, yeah, go back and check out episode two if you like. That was where I talk about brutalism as a uh, and modernism as, as a couple of architectural styles. And um, we have a bit of a discussion about that. Um, thank you for all your comments on the videos as well. Well, there's been quite a few comments on episode one and two and I have responded to all of them so please um, please continue to do that if you'd like a shout out um, uh, for your channel if you have a YouTube channel and you're a gamer um, if you want to leave those in the comments I'm happy to do shout outs in any of my videos but I need you to leave that clearly and I'll check out the uh, channel and give you a shout out um, and uh, yeah that, that's uh, that's how that will go it's a good way of giving back to the community and also helping e e getting each other uh well getting ourselves to help each other to promote ourselves and i like that it's that sort of spirit that is um is really happening on my twitter account at the moment too so if you if you don't follow me on twitter um the uh the handle is um at the real stitch up um and uh, you'll, you'll see that pop onto the uh onto the screen at some point during this video anyway as well you'll see that sort of there so feel free to follow me on twitter reach out to me on twitter or in the comments of these videos and that will be great um and we can get conversations going so yeah let's talk about so what we're doing in this episode for the first part of this episode maybe the first little bit will be maybe the first third we'll be uh trying to design a bespoke fence to go around the park now when i build a full park in planet coaster I like there to be a fence and I like if I've got um, say you, you've got a, the maps are quite big and say you, you're building in just a quarter of the map I like the fence off the park and then it really helps us to once the park is completely fenced off it helps us to then start to work out the boundaries and how much room we've got and all this sort of stuff but also room for expansion areas and I like that we can kind of you know leave a paddock over there and and that will be the expansion it doesn't have a fence around it and when we go to expand we can extend the fence as well so i i like all that i think it adds to the law of the of the park and and i like that um at the moment it just just while I'm looking at this path here on the left this is a seven meter wide path and uh, i don't think any of these paths are permanent at the moment we actually play around with the layout um, after this. So we're getting these, first of all, let's just talk about the fence. So the fence, I kind of wanted something a bit glamorous and I love the idea of getting some wood. I really like these, the top of this, top of this wood, I can't remember what this piece is, but this top, it's got these wood slats and then a horizontal um, running perpendicular to it, uh, uh, sort of sort of board across the top and stained this beautiful dark color. And so I do like the idea of the light concrete at the bottom. I like the idea here of these um, concrete pillars and I'm, I'm trying to make it a thicker one here um, and then we'll put some climb proof uh, stuff over the top as well. Now the fences are designed to be enjoyed from the front um, sorry from the inside I should say not the front uh, the inside the park side however um, it becomes apparent that we need the fences to be and they're not symmetrical so there is a profile that is uh, you can see it here actually the profile is more the, the, these pillars stick out quite a lot more um, uh, on the inside of the park but it needs to be presentable on the outside as well and later on this episode you'll see why that becomes so apparent so I'm actually just going along and finding different pieces that I think will go in. I've got all the wood, uh, wall pieces that I found were possible contenders here. This group of, just quickly adding them up, looks like 12 or 13 wall pieces. Um, and then, yeah, I've, I've just kind of got those. And I do like the idea of having brick. Um, so we've got, you know, 
concrete or stucco base um, or possibly even a stone base um, and then we've got uh, a brick for the majority of the fence um, and and then also the wood now trying to get the three colors to all tie in pretty well so i've got this kind of rendered concrete i've got this kind of light brown maybe a tiny bit of green i would like to put some plants hanging off the top of some of these fences as well uh, we start to put some posts in uh, with the fences as well i'm making one unit that is uh two times four meters across so eight meters across and it's one piece um it's kind of done up as sort of one piece and then it's got a pole and a column and a post on one side which has a light as well and then um we can then duplicate that so and i believe let's just see how it goes but i believe i swapped that to 12 meters in length because it would put the lights too close together so i think for scale size of the park we start putting these uh, 12 meters apart uh, spacings at 12 meters instead of spacings of eight and i think that was a really good kind of thing to do but this was nice i like I li i'm really getting into this whole wall set and as you go to build a building you grab all the pieces that you think you like get a whole do a bit of a scrounge around for all the pieces and then um, get them all laid out in front of you and you can still go back in and grab all the stuff but you've got the main pieces there and i really like this and again i mentioned this in episode one and possibly episode two um, that um you know if you're new to planet Coast or if you're a bit unsure this is the real way to do it because it really helps you to just grab all your pieces and go around hunting around and then you can start building and of course if you're a youtuber on top of that as well when you put the content together you know you want the content to look good so um, you want the content to play nice and if you're not that confident in building you you want to appear confident um, so uh, yeah you want to make sure that um, you know so that, that, that that's a good thing because the you know the point of it should be you know if you're a youtuber and you're building a planet coaster or a planet zoo we should see a lot of the building on screen and we shouldn't see too much of the scrolling through menus especially in the speed builds because it doesn't it doesn't translate very well anyway oh another favorite piece i absolutely love just looking back to the brutalist hotel and the gardens there i do love that um that uh what is that soil i really love that i think it's just really really good again i talk about um in previous episodes my aim for this series is to be a hundred percent built environment and have no grass showing um if i have grass showing it'll be because it's a grass section which i want to, to be a very rare and i'd imagine they're fairly rare these the grass sections but i want there to be um none of the blank map or very very little of the original blank uh, green grass map left uh, in the park when when completed so there's one of the little little mandates i've kind of set for myself so yeah we're putting the um putting the the fence in here and um let's talk about park size so um coming up to this you'll see here so what we actually do is we actually grab the map and do a bit of a uh, edit in between. Uh, I didn't do this on camera, but what I've done is I start to edit the park size. Uh, so go into scenarios, load it as a scenario and edit the park size. And I guess the main reason I'm doing that is I wanna move the guest spawning point. Uh, I thought about having one in the hotel. Uh, by the way, the hotel is connected now. So I worked out how to do that. Quick YouTube tutorial showed me how to connect the rooms to the hotel lobby. Uh, and again, we've still got the two hotel lobby I believe let me think yes I do hang on no I've only got one hotel lobby actually and it has six rooms connected to it three are standard three are deluxe yeah so if you're looking at the hotel waiting to enter it's the one on the left but we'll go and have a look at it later in the free play but what I've done is expanded the park so it used to be up against the side here of what, what the fence area is and this corner here I actually decided this is going to be the kind of new entrance area. Well, there's going to be an entrance area. So this is going to be car park. And I start building a car park here. And I've never built a car park in Planet Coaster. And I've resisted the urge to. And to be actually honest, I always thought, why would you do a car park? Because it's not functional. The cars don't move. The mechanics don't support it. I mean, there's a fantastic vehicles pack that came out with a studios pack. And someone has uploaded a vehicles pack to uh, the, really early on as well to the workshop. Um, and I've got that there. You'll see that over there. And it's really good because you get all the vehicles and they've got all the wheels attached already. Uh, I never understand why the wheels aren't attached. I mean, I know so you can swap them out with other ones, but 
it's just a bit odd in the base game so i i always anyway i grab i've grabbed that pack and you you'll see that come in a bit later because we want to start getting um we want to so basically and here's one of the the buses i get but i think you'll actually see me bring up the pack shortly yet yeah, there we go i'm just bringing it up now uh so here it is a vehicle pack now it's got the uh it's got the rubbish trucks i put it over in this corner over here uh, i will de dedicate a part of this save map um for all of my templates um which i might just have i might have that fenced off as well like a little bit of a back of house scrap area maybe for the studio and actually what i'm using it for is things that i want to be lying around in the park so i can grab them so my top favorite trees and the groups so if i see the sort of things i like um you know the rocks i've got in the park well i can grab you know that particular type of rock and put them all out there so uh, i like to to do that um the wall sets can also be a bit handy because we've just done those wall sets for the um for these particular uh well, yeah for the for the actual wall that surrounds the park but the wall set for um uh, uh you you could reuse that for buildings and it's all quite lovely so at least you can use it as a starting point for buildings anyway we'll we'll see how it goes it's all <laughs> it's all hypothetical at the moment so uh car park now i am very unsure about car park so it literally was pop a car down pop a bus down and start drawing and of course one thing I want in a car park is symmetricality, and I thought, I'd, by the way, I thought I'd flatten the, uh, <laughs> the 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 ground there, but obviously I hadn't. So there's this cool feature here where you see me scrape it away, and you can start seeing it come up. So that that's quite oh, that's quite satisfying. What I do is I draw two vertical bits, and I overlap one so you can't see it, and then I remove one from the overlap. And so I try and get the overlap as good as I can on that last end one, and then again making sure it's zoom in quite a bit and then this way we what we find is we do get ourselves a um a little bit of symmetricality of course things look a bit different as you zoom out and stuff now i just want to caveat this as well and say that uh, offline i am testing a few different things i have encountered some frame rate and performance issues since i expanded the park um and it's i've gone down the rabbit hole a bit actually with this it's it's um it's been a bit grim because um you know i love my new gaming computer i still call it new gaming computer i i i, I know it's not new because it, i've had it for 10 months and i know i've had it for 10 months is because i was looking at my warranties uh because i was going to be sending it in to be checked and warranties uh warranty checks and all this sort of stuff but i think that i've worked out that <laughs> that it's frame rate and performance drops because of the expansion of the park uh, dimension. So I've shortened it a little bit and moved it again. So we're recording this episode, I've made a few little adjustments and what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring the boundary right back into beyond where this car park ends up being. So anyway, let's let's not dwell on that. That's that's a me thing. Um, the series is definitely still cruising through. It's funny. I'm getting lots of uh, lots of ideas for what to do in the series, and I guess one thing that's really in my mind is the um, the, the ride through. Um, now I want to. So this will be the the studios tour um, with the little buses. Now it's interesting because I'm getting all the ideas for this and I'm starting to flesh these out in my mind and do a little few test builds and I'll start uh, putting some things together. But I don't expect that um, that's going to be one that I'm actually going to do on screen really, really soon because I want to get the park open and I want it open with at least one roller coaster, a couple of flat rides. Um, and yeah, it's interesting. I don't want it to be like in Sunset Valley, uh, Sunset? Uh, Sunset Studios, yeah, not Sunset Valley. In Sunset Studios, I had the tram car ride, and it was the park was open, but it was never complete. Then we would go through some of the the uh, studio buildings and the sound stages and all this sort of stuff, but it would um, it it would go through incomplete areas, and I'd be like, yeah, well, this hasn't been fitted out yet. Now that's not realistic. The way I'd like to do it in this build and in this park is to build it. Um, uh, so build it in phases, so start it off with like, you know, a, a couple of different scenes that it goes through and make it, you know, a reasonably small ride and then do an expansion on the ride. And I think that's a good one to do an expansion on the ride because that's kind of a little bit, it's a little bit realistic. You get a new, a new sort of area and it would divert away and while that's being built, then it would, would get into it. Okay, let's talk about this. So I've got little patches here of car park. 
again I'm looking at this thinking well this is land that I could never really build on but I guess it just adds to it doesn't it it's gonna add to it and I want it, I want this to be a reasonably high-end car park I want it to be quite glamorous and I want to have some nice um, uh, well I just I just want to it to look like the studios put a bit of effort into the car park um, so we'll have some planting some planter boxes some green space here I'm grabbing this corner and I'm gonna start doing some uh, bus parking and this was difficult this was hard to work out the angle uh, the comparison angle between the bus um, and then uh, the cars because I've got them at right angles to each other anyway so I think we I think we're sitting at a straight 45 there but then I wanted these to add up as well so I work out how to do it and the um, imp the implementation of um, use world axis or relative axis the, the the ability to swap between world axis and um, <clears throat> that relative is is a game changer so when that come out I don't know how people built things like car parks because if you want everything lined up you know um, it's actually quite good it's just really it makes it really really sort of not easy but it makes it even and good and um, fun and not frustrating so here's me bringing in a bus notes so we bring in one of the buses um, and I'll try and leave a link to the description of this um, item actually this this particular item um, that with all the vehicles so you can see me here, I'm just using a relative axis, so I swap it to, sorry, the world axis, then I swap it to a relative one over there as well. So you can see that, um, yeah, so that, that's all quite good. Now here we're trying to work out the spacing between the buses. I think the buses should be quite close together. Uh, the idea would be that if the buses are close together, people could come and get onto these buses without the bus having to move out. That is my um, idea. Um, I want it to be big enough for that because theme parks have quite a bit of space they do have very big car parks um, another little idea as well that I had is and this is a, a bit kind of like movie world on the Gold Coast in Australia I would like um, a quite big maybe a hyper coaster or a, um, uh, a what is it uh, I can't remember the name of it a bit like what is it the saw uh, so the Smiler, a bit like the Smiler, something with big, big, sort of big legs and it's kind of black and it sits above. But I'd like to sit a couple of those legs to sit in the car park as well. I think that could be really good. Now it's interesting, if that's the case, the car park wraps around uh, the hotel. So when I built the hotel and put it in the corner, I never imagined that it that those rooms would be overlooking a car park. So I will at some stage put in uh, some um, some other windows on the other side overlooking the car park. I think that is the realism. Um, but what I probably will end up doing as well is um, uh, sort of, um, oh what, no, the, I guess the theory behind that would be that people would stay at the hotel, um, but at night time the park isn't running and that's when they can get some kip and they won't have <clears throat> they can have a roller, post, a roller coaster going right past their room because during the day it shouldn't matter and and then in the evening it shouldn't matter too much in fact that'd be quite exciting if you like that sort of thing but then um at night time in nine o'clock onwards when it's time to sleep the park would be closed so i think that's that allows me to do that i'm always trying to do things here you can see the spacing by the way i'm trying to line it up see how it's connecting into those last bay the last two yeah the last bay on those what i'm doing is uh, putting those in there using those as spaces uh, and trying to line them up with something that else that is on the the particular um uh car park map um yeah i just want this to look even i want i want it to look sort of symmetrical and like it's not you know that we haven't uh i haven't eyeballed too much basically um it's good to eyeball some stuff but not too much and anyway i end up getting rid of this bit here i'll probably end up putting triangular planting beds in uh around the end of the bus stops um and then i'm going to put some signs in as well but again i'll probably do that off camera and just just update you guys with that as well so uh, what we end up doing as well is we have a um, yeah we have another entrance building. So I've picked a I've picked a uh, I've picked a what is it? 
what's the word <laughs> a blueprint a, a planet coaster blueprint so nothing from the workshop nothing created by the community but a planet coaster workshop and i've picked that um and i picked a church in it as well so we'll show you that a little bit later and the idea is that it's it is a movie set and it is a famous church from a famous movie but it's being recreated on the edge of the car park here and i'm going to put some signage on there and the idea is that the guests will park the car then walk over to this particular um uh, particular church and they'll enter the church and they'll go through it do all their ticketing inside when they come out that's the spawn point by the way so they come out of there and they've spawned and they've got their tickets and really the thing that they need to do in planet coaster and planet zoo is they grab they say spawn usually in the tunnel so in this they'll do it inside the church which is a recreation of a church from a famous movie and we can sort that out a bit later um, and then they will um, uh, carry their ticket through to the entrance plaza and go through one of the five gates and validate the ticket and they're into the park. So I think that's really cool. I think that's nice. I, I like the idea that there's a little bit of bureaucracy for the guests at the start to uh, negotiate and um, and uh, that's how, that, well that is how they do it in, in um, uh, in theme parks, you know, you've got people who buy tickets online, or yearly passes, or they bought a daily ticket, want to change it to a yearly pass, or I've done something wrong, I haven't got my ticket, I've forgotten this. So you go to the information booth, or people who haven't bought their ticket, they just want to buy it on the day. And so those people will go to the information booths and buy their tickets and pass through. And if you have a yearly pass or something, then you're ready to go. You can kind of just go straight through that first building, straight through the express queue, and then go and show your ticket at the validation point, which everyone one gets treated the same at the validation point a barcode is a barcode so that's how i think that will work a little archer man is out in force so we can make sure that because look at the size of the car park and then look at the size of the archer so it, it is a spacious car park um but um yeah we got the little archer man and i'm trying to put in um get myself a little meter uh, little meter gaps here i'm trying to put in some planter boxes and not have them look absolutely ridiculous so I play around with that one as well. And in fact, uh, this episode, what we'll be doing is just doing showing you a little bit of the start of the planter boxes, then a few duplications, a few placements. It turns out that I put the pla uh, planter boxes in, I go and put them on all of the bays. Then I come back and I make a full length of planter box. And so then I actually use that as the template. So I go back and delete all the other ones and I actually repeat that process three or four times. This is. Um, and that is that isn't the best way to uh, work in Planet Coaster. It's if you're doing these series and if you're doing if you're doing that, really when you well not even connected to a YouTube series, but when you're doing something that requires templating, um, you really want to make sure the template is finished before you start repeating it. And I, I got carried away many many times and started repeating it. So you can see here I'm deleting repeating but in the end it's removing pieces as long as you're taking the pieces out before you put the new ones in then you're not going to be punished for uh, piece count um, so uh, yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad at all I also put in a few little little um, uh, so I, uh, I, yeah I put in a few little gaps where people can walk into the planter uh, boxes um, the planter box area is the path that connects so we don't want people to walk on the roads we, we want them to walk in between the cars in the dedicated walkways and I'll put zebra crossings um, after those so there'll be a little bit of uh, route management here again this is all for show and it's all meant to be a backdrop it's not meant to be super um, well it's going to be relatively detailed but it doesn't need to be super um, uh, well it does actually need to be kind of good um, because yeah it's a backdrop but it's a focal point as well isn't it people are going to look at it um, but um, uh, yeah okay so we're getting a few buses here I think along that fence as well and there was some planter boxes along the fence as well so we, you'll see all this a little bit later on well what I'm going to do now is let you enjoy the rest of the speed build I hope you're enjoying the music currently listening to uh, Metamorphius by Hampus uh, Nazalius um, and of course all my music is a royalty uh, I pay for the royalty with a membership from uh, epidemicsound.com so um, if you're interested in and this is not a paid promotion or anything like that but if you're interested in, in getting um, some uh, music that you can put online in your videos um, then the royalties will be paid correctly and it's uh, epidemicsound.com and it's like a little monthly membership I think it's like 
six pounds a month or something um, and you've got heaps in there so I grabbed a whole lot of stuff that I thought was a little bit cinematic a bit dramatic uh, dramatic cinematic um, yeah and so I hope you're enjoying the music so we'll uh, I'll stop talking you enjoy the rest of the music and I'll see you uh, towards the end of the episode and we'll have a look around uh, where we are um, and we will see where we go from there
Hey guys, so here we are and this is the finished product, uh, the car park. Um, so the original boundary park ran along here and then came across here. So this was kind of where it was, it was down here and across there. Where that fence line is, is the original line. This is what we've got. So if we have a quick look and see and look at the whole plot. Now there's the line there. So what I've done is I've cut, cut into the wall and I've tried to make this look a little bit like it's just kind of, um, you know, cut in, but it's a quarry face or a stone face. Uh, and I like that we're actually getting a bit close to, closer to where the um, where the actual sort of uh, background town is as well. We don't want to get too close to that because it's kind of just like a million cars and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, if we have a look here, um, I think I will end up changing the fence arrangement around here. So I think we'll do this and then what I thought I might do as well is I'll have some of the studio sound stages and they could be sort of here um, and I'm thinking I could actually put one up against that and put one out here so that maybe our two of us goes into it and then somewhat comes out um, possibly interacts with the uh, car park but or in addition to that we could have a foot of the coaster so if it was an out and back coaster it could in some way come out to here and then sort of roll around and go back so that could be good and uh, nothing to say things won't change if we go in and have a bit of a look here and we can see um, let's just go in just a bit lower and see uh, down here ooh, ooh, ooh. what am I doing here am I in the right flight mode is there, a, is there a better mode here have I got some sort of free camera mode that is the wrong one. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's go and have a look down here. Um, but yeah, these are the, these are the little uh, bits where people would park here instead of walking all the way down to the end. They go into these bits. Now they've got those there to encourage people to use the pathways and not the roads. Um, so that's, that's otherwise you'd have people go, well forget I'm not walking all the way up the end just to walk down there. I'm already halfway up so I would uh, just walk along there. We don't want people doing that. Um, so I will put in some bus marking, uh, sorry, some, some road markings, some dotted lines and some curves and things. So this will be, um, look I don't want to spend too long on the car park but this will be basically um, relatively complete uh, ready to kind of move on because then you know we talk about the, the first the first part of the park and we haven't really got into any of the studio side of it yet and then we also haven't got into any of the ride side of it yet and I've got to remember it's a theme park and people you know it's a studio park but people also want to go and jump on a ride as well as soon as they get in they want to race for a drop tower or something like that so ferris wheel drop tower um uh something like that something big i can imagine will be here or here um and we'll have a bridge uh sort of here so yeah let's have a quick look so the guests will now come in and um they'll get into this i do have to just do some modifications to this building but guests will enter here i'll put some signs the guests will basically walk all the way through here so i might have all the paths converging so so this sort of crossing converging and anyone coming out of here here uh converging into a because yeah we'll be able to put a nice um zebra crossing converging into this building here where they go and purchase their uh tickets but really what they're doing in the game is spawning and then uh here's the original so this was the original part of where the original spawn point tunnel was that's all being removed now it's interesting i think i've got access to yeah i've got access to move all these on editing uh, the map in, um, I've actually got, what have I got there? Ooh, this board has broken. I'll have to fix that. But that was a temporary board there. Uh, I've actually got these guys locked. I can't do anything with those. Um, and uh, that's fine. I think I might let this is locked as well. Yeah, I think those guys being locked is fine. We'll work around them. And I, I kind of don't mind that little challenge. And of course, I think I put in a tank here leading in uh, a little bit of a, um, this will be a bit of a, 
you're walking through here you'll see the tank you'll see the Thames and then you'll see the theme park uh, there and uh, this is a little bit of a preview for the studio tour because they're going to be going through a World War II um, set a set from a, a movie from a battle uh, a battle scene from a World War II movie so this this tank will be um, a little bit of a teaser for that not glorifying war in any way but that's going to be part of what we're doing in this particular theme park studio uh, yeah cool so okay so I'm going to basically I think I'll leave the episode here a bit of tinkering there'll be a little bit of fixing up um, starting to see things coming together I guess the other thing is I do want the mountain uh, to be here still I want some mountains and some elevation there's been no elevation here it's all flattened ground but I'd like some elevation to be around here um, and I think that could be kind of a, a good place to do it and I think we could basically do uh, it all through here as well because we don't need access to any of this bit so I think all this could be elevated uh, quite a bit and um, th that will give us something that can look down onto the entrance area and the car park and of course as we got our Isle of Dogs kind of uh, set up the original park boundary was I think here maybe this line here now if you have a look at it we've actually got it going all the way back to here so what I'll do is I will bring this all the way down and then across here and then we'll have the mountain hiding that completely now the good thing about that is these guys uh, so the Isle of Dogs is now much bigger so it was our you know it was only going to be this size and you can still get quite a bit on there but now I'm talking when you when you're talking about some of those really big studio buildings we're going to be having them sort of right down to here so I think that's kind of cool and um, and then if we look at the boundary over here I think I've moved it so it's there so yeah you've still got this kind of bit if we have a look it's here I might extend this bit out here and do that because then we've still got all the mainland area and all this so there's no by moving the as long as we don't widen the river by moving the river we're not losing any 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 space to build on so I think that's going to be kind of cool okay so I think that's going to be good um, all these items are locked I will go actually I'll go and remove all the trees that are locked from the scenario mode um, and just so we've got a bit of flexibility otherwise we're going to have real trouble when we go and do that I uh, don't know why I just like, didn't delete those uh, yes I hope you've enjoyed episode 3 uh, it's been about the car park this one and it's gotten there it's it's kind of I'll fill in some cars as well it's kind of getting there it's not there yet um, but I think it's sort of coming together and of course the completed hotel as well look at this I mean we've got a bit of bit of pathing over here to do not real pathing just just planet ghost pathing but if we have a look at that I think that's starting to look really good um, and you can see the lighting I put in which is kind of nice um, in fact I just want to show you if I drop the lighting down here and go to say uh, 530 no let's just do 5 5 yeah let's do 5:45 p.m. 6 p.m. is quite dark 5 45 is quite nice yeah that, that is lovely so what I did here is I put all these lights around here and of course they're on uh, the fence um, but they're also uh, on here now this works in this area but it ties the building because the lights are there plus on the fence in the entire going to be around the entire park it ties this building into the particular um, fence as well and so if you have a look at that that that's kind of good and then there we got these guys um, here put some lights in and of course uh, a bit of structure there for the guests to walk in oh no it is the two it, it is the two so there are two two uh, hotels both with three rooms each in them for now lots of planting and we'll be doing some things out here this this area to be to be finished so I'll leave you with our lovely sunset and our car park and this episode has been relatively productive um, and a bit you know a lot has happened big change for the park but I'm um, happy with all that so I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to leave your comments uh, down below I read and respond to everything if you want a shout out for your channel please also leave those um, and then listen up for the shout out and of course don't forget to subscribe to stitch up if you want to see more planet uh, coaster um, Jurassic World Evolution Planet Zoo um, uh, coming up uh, Dyson Sphere program and of course our favorite voxel tycoon and I'll see you in the next episode of Thames Valley Studios uh, in Planet Coaster cheers